first but like really kind of like smoothing down all those edges of those kind of little bits and just kind of playing with the texture of the curl a little bit just to kind of break it up so it's not too smooth. from the next day because let's be honest I didn't do a great job at vlogging um, but I thought I might as well sit down and tell you guys a little bit about the event give you guys also my tips and tricks if you're planning to go next year or whenever you're gonna do that again and also show you guys everything that is inside my goodie bag and I feel like I need to put this huge disclaimer out there I know my voice sounds so weird, but I'm actually getting through a cold, so that's the reason why um, I think we can kind of ignore it and pretend I sound normal. So yeah, let's just get into this video, shall we? So basically my ticket was set from 1.30 to 4 in the afternoon. And I'm not gonna lie, I went there quite early. I think it was around 1.10 and there was already a queue. So first tip for you guys would definitely be get there early and also as soon as you're in, just go get in the queue. And the reason why I'm saying that is that I never been to this sort of event. I know that I'm a YouTuber, but I don't get invited to, you know, brand and launch type of stuff. And I've never been to VidCon either, so I literally didn't know what to expect at all, but I kind of regret not getting in the queue early because like I was literally one of the first person to get in and as soon as I got in I just had a look around to like all the different stands and just afterwards I realized I need to be in the queue because like they had these different services so you could either get your nails done, your arbor done or a piercing and I'm not gonna lie I was actually into the piercing area so I decided to put myself in the queue for the piercing and when I was almost there the girl told us that the piercing are all booked so there's no more space left and I was so fucking angry at myself I was like really? So I was at the end of the queue, uh, it was literally my turn and she was like, okay, you can still get your nail done or your arbor done. And my first instinct was just to get off the queue because I wanted a piercing. I didn't want anyone to touch my arbor or my nails. So I got off the queue and then a bit later I decided to be back in the queue because I was like you know what I'm here might as well get my eyebrow down because like they need to be done anyway um, and so I literally waste a lot of time with people in decision type of thing uh, when I was actually in the chair to get my eyebrow down I was also really nervous and almost freaked out because like uh, the lady didn't ask me what I wanted exactly so part of me was so scared that she would make my eyebrow so thin and I'm definitely not into the thin eyebrow type of vibe. I mean, I know my eyebrow can look quite thin to some of you guys, but this is like the thickness that I like. So yeah, I was so scared. But at the end of the day, she did a really great job and also ended up getting my nails done. I'm quite happy with the result because I think it was because I was like literally one of the last customers or whatever. And like, the girl was nice and we had like an interesting conversation, but like, Honestly, she did my nails quite poorly, like she didn't really pay attention to it, but yeah, oh well, it was for free, you know what I mean? So also, I forgot to mention this, but basically the ticket was £30, but then you do get a goodie bag that is worth £150, so I think that's actually a really good compromise. Also, they do have all different stands where like I said, you could get your nail done, your arbor done, or also your hair done. I didn't manage to get my hair done, although I really wanted to, but one of the reasons why I was not able to is because I booked a masterclass. Now, 
don't get me wrong, I quite enjoy the master class, but I feel like if you're not like 100% sure whether you should do a master class or not, I recommend not to just because if you don't do the master class, you do have more time to just like lean around and you know talk with different scent or like try different products which is another tip don't be afraid just go ahead and talk to the different stand because you may get also some free product out of it uh, i'm not gonna lie i saw a cover girl although it was quite a dent with like some toe bag um a specific brand so i decided to went there to like check them out as well uh i needed a toe bag pretty much that was all the reason why but there was already a guy in there from like the security say okay the security is ending here like you can't be in the queue and i was like fuck thank you never mind uh so yeah definitely don't be afraid to talk to people which also it's kind of connects to my next tips which is don't fly solo definitely bring a friend with you i decided to go alone and like let me tell you it was stressful uh, just because like I'm not the type of person like really outgoing type of girl that would just go there and talk with different brands, talk with different people, make friends on the spot. That's just not me. So definitely I will suggest you guys to bring a friend. You can take like a swim content from each other. I'm pretty sure my vlog would be much better if I had someone who could actually vlog me. For instance, I kind of want a game type of thing. So basically the brand mix, I'm pretty sure had this sort of a swimming pool type of thing, like a really small swimming pool with uh, some balls inside and so you were meant to get in there and like go through the ball trying to find the glittery ball I think this whole thing is really like weird and complicated to explain you guys so it would be so much easier if I had footage of that but basically I got in there and like searched for this glittery ball and I managed to find it. I got a free product out of it, which was quite cool. That would make a really good Instagram content. So yeah, definitely bring a friend. Also talking about Instagram, they had this sort of uh, photo booth spots that were really cool. Um, and those were just like at the beginning. And my tips for that is to get the picture at the end of the event when you're just about to go because A, you don't need to be in the queue for that because literally everyone already took the picture at the beginning so you're gonna have the photo booths all for yourself which is quite handy and you don't take time out of like the super drug experience to take picture you know what i mean because like you already did everything you already talked with all the scent and you can finally take pictures kind of like a regard type of thing so that's pretty much all about the super drug event experience and tips and i feel like now we can actually dive into the goodie bag, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had to move from the frame in order to show you guys this massive goodie bag worth 150 pounds. Now just give me a couple of seconds to drop everything out and divide it by category so that I can show you guys easily. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the messes in my bed right now I try to divide the, each product by category so that it's easier to show you guys but it turns out to be quite complicated so this whole portion of the video could be quite messy but we're just gonna roll with it so first thing first uh, I got something that could be really handy when I have my period that is it it's like a big pack so I think I'm pretty much sort for a long time that is actually so random not gonna lie but keep going with like the useful thing i also got a deodorant by dove fun fact a deodorant that i currently use is from dove although it's not this type it's like the lemony one uh then i also got this nivea wild and free uh kind of shower gel which is gonna be handy as well um, I also got these agitating like moisture by Simple. This is how it looks like. I think it's quite handy if you need to travel because like it's literally a travel site. Then I also got this Aura B 3D White Whitening Therapy Gentle Cream with Coconut Oil which is going to be so handy because like I literally ran out of my juice paste so that's kind of cool. 
and I'll seek out these uh, pure nature water. This is how it looks like. I am G. Uh, what else we got? We got this impress the press on manicure, which are actually quite excited for the color because they're kind of like a light pink and actually really into those. Uh, then also got this Lush Culture from Kiss. I'm actually really excited to try them on. They look so sick and like so legit as well. So quite excited for that. And also got the glue from the same brand. So that's quite nice. Talking about nice things, we also got Promise by Jennifer Lopez, which I never tried. It's quite a big size because it's like 13 milliliter and I'm actually really interested in trying this out. Then we also got quite a few things for hair, so I got this uh, Live Precious Metallic Metallic Spray from this brand. I don't know how to pronounce in English, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is not even English. But like in Chinese, it's called Casanera, which I think is definitely an easy way to say it. So got this bad boy, which is quite fun. Then I also got this uh, Save Earth. Secret Agent Touch Up Cream from John Friega, which kind of sounds like a really dope brand from like some hairstylist. So, really love that. Then I also got this uh, Glitter Glam by the same brand as before. These are gonna be so fun for like Halloween or like Cardamom, whatever. I kind of like it. Uh, I also got this Antibacterial Makeup Brush Sanitizer by B. I never heard of this brand, so. That's kind of cool. Uh, then I got this e.l.f. face primer. I never actually tried e.l.f. as a brand and I also never had a proper face primer mostly because I don't really do foundation. I like moisturizer and also like light tint moisturizer like the Garnier BB cream. I'm never into foundation and let's be honest, I haven't used my Garnier BB cream in a while but I think this is gonna be handy. I mean, I can always try it out, right? I really like trying new products, to be honest. Talking about new products, I also got a blending sponge from the same brand, B, um, which is gonna be actually really handy so that I don't have to buy a new one. Um, then this is actually the product that I won when I went through the different vaults and find the glitter one, and this is from NYX. Then from this other brand, which is Mira Makeup Academy, I got this two makeup palette that I'm actually really excited for like this palette specifically I know this is like my everyday palette and I'm kind of cool with it but like I really do have quite a few of this color in my other palette but like this this is literally everything like I love every single shade I'm so excited to experiment because I'm like this blue one right here is matte and like it's literally everything I'm definitely gonna do a makeup look with it as soon as I'm done filming this video so then next up I also got this Rimmel London 60 second super shine nail polish which is kind of fun because this is actually the color that I let the lady paint my nails so and I thought it was fun I got some time and did it back you know what I mean then what else do we got we have this mascara revolution from of course Revolution. This is how it looks like. I love the packaging because it reminds me of my mascara. But like I don't know if I can actually switch to another mascara because I'm quite soaked with my mascara products for L'Oreal. You guys know the drill. So have this other thing which is a bone roller gloss. Uh, now can someone actually tell me if they know what is this for? Because like I know it says gloss, so I assume it's a gloss but it just looks weird to be a gloss so I don't know if you're meant to put this somewhere else like in your eye area I don't know, just let me know if you ever saw this I'm actually do some research because like, I have literally no idea I think it's dope though and I know that I probably over talked and like said tons of words about a single product but oh well, that's me then I also got this NYX Butter Gloss, this is how it looks like, this is the color. I know it's quite dark, but like fun fact, I'm actually really into dark lipstick. Uh, if you guys just saw my boot unboxing type of all, you would know that I got like a dark lips from lingerie that I said I was not into, but like as soon as I tried it out, I was actually really into it. And 
we're currently in fall time. I think this is a perfect time to try out the dark lipstick and I love it. Then I also got this Burt's Bee and it is like a lip balm, a tinted lip balm in this violet color which I'm actually really excited to try out. Then the other two things that I got are self tanning related and I don't really self tan. Um, so this is a tanning mousse, this is the bronzing mousse. I generally don't think I'm ever going to use them because like I said I don't do self tan but I don't know, I'm actually doing a giveaway with like the products that I don't use. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys will be interested in that because I feel like I can definitely do that. Uh, then next up I got this OC, OCA, tell me how you pronounce that in the comments, uh, Shampoo Miracle Moist. And then I also got this uh, Palmer's Natural Cushion which is a conditioner. So got these two quite excited and next up I also got this Shia Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask and god knows if my hair needs some hair mask so I got this bad boy which is actually really big this one is 354 milliliters so it's definitely not a travel size but she's thick last product that I actually got is this got to be powerful Voluminizing Styling Powder by the same brand that I'm not able to pronounce. So there we go. This is the last product from this haul. And man, I actually got quite a few products and I'm actually really excited to try. I know I probably want to use all of them. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to do a sort of giveaway of the products that I know I'm not going to be using because I don't know what else to do with them. So maybe I could run that on my Instagram at the end of the show, but like, let me know in the comments below if you're interested to see that. And of course, if you are, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram because I'm pretty sure I will post more details on there if I will actually end up doing it. And that's about it for this super drug event vlog slash sit down video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, of course, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below. What do you think? If you liked it, if you want me to do more videos like this, because I'm technically going to a fashion fair event once again, so I'm pretty sure I'll get some beauty out of it as well. So, yeah, let me know if you guys want another haul because I guess I can do that. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I promise I don't usually sound like this, it just, it just said today things because I'm sick, but. Yeah, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!